Hi everyone, Ricky here from Tech Talk. Today we're having a look at the iPhone SE or the special edition iPhone. And today we're gonna to do some basics. So welcome to iPhone SE basics. This is set up for your new device. So first of all, you need to touch that power button at the top, press and hold that in. And your device is gonna load. So we've got a white background on this one. And if you have the space gray model, you're gonna have a black background, white apple. So it's nice they change the colors depending on your phone. So we did go for the white and gold here. Looks very nice, a very shiny gold apple there on the back. Okay. So you've got your fingerprint sensor down here and your home button. So this is your touch ID, or you can press that in and it'll actually wake up the screen there. So it says hello and swipe to begin. Okay, so there's no SIM card inserted at the moment. But if you do want to add a SIM card, what you need to do is just flip it around here to the right. See that little hole there? You do have a SIM tool in your packaging and you can add a SIM. But also I am making a video on showing you how to put your SIM card in this iPhone SE. So going back around to the front here, it's asking us to choose our language. So we are English. So select English. You found the United Kingdom or you can choose a different country. But we are United Kingdom. Choosing your Wi-Fi network. Make sure you see your network on here. So this is my one here, the Sky one. You're gonna see your keyboard for the first time. What you need to do is type in your password for your Wi-Fi. So this is normally on the back of the router, or if you've set it up before, you're gonna have your own personal password, like so. So our Wi-Fi is connected now, so we're gonna hit next up here at the top. So we can either enable or disenable location. I'm gonna always say enable location. Touch ID, so you can set up Touch ID now. So we're gonna go through the process of doing that. So it says place a finger down. So when you hear a vibrate, lift your finger up, place back down. Keep repeating this until you can see my thumbprint is actually being filled in here. Then it wants you to slightly bend your thumb to do the sides. Tap continue, then it just, again, you will hear a vibrate when this is ready for you to lift and raise your finger again. And then hit continue down here at the bottom when done. So it's gonna ask you to set up a passcode. So you can do whatever sort of code you want to. It's gonna ask you to make sure that you do your passcode again. There we go. So remember that and jot that down if you so wish. So how do you want to set up your device? You might already have an iPad and might want to bring the applications over from that. And what you would need to do is back that up via iCloud. I can show you that in a new video or you can start as a new device. I always recommend starting as a new device, but bringing over your iCloud contacts, your email addresses and notes, just in case what you have saved in iCloud, you might want for your new iPhone. So we're gonna say here, set up as new phone let's click that one so you have an apple id so you might not have an apple id you either sign in with this one or you can create an apple id so you'd sign in here and it will bring in all your information all your applications and everything to use or well, if you want to skip this now and we can always do this later so next is your terms and conditions from apple which you have to agree to so there's one agree button down here so next is your personal assistant so this is siri so Siri will help you with all different things, appointments, notes, and calendar, events, and what's going on on your iPhone. And you can always talk to it and ask it questions. Everyone knows what Siri is now, and it's on the iPhone SE. So we're gonna turn on Siri later. So diagnostics, do you want to send to Apple or not send to Apple? I'm not going to send them at the moment, and we'll send to Apple. So app analytics, do you want to send this again to Apple? I'm gonna say not at the moment. So welcome to iPhone. There we go. We're into our home screen and we're into the most powerful four inch display, what Apple has said, and the most powerful four inch device that is available on the market. This was the setup of the iPhone SE. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know what you think down below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.